This is your CBS News Baltimore update for Saturday, September 21st. I'm Iana Massey. Local law enforcement confirmed to WJZ that there have been a slew of threats against schools this week on social media. Yesterday, a 15 year old Baltimore County student was arrested and charged for making a threat online. And in Anne Arundel County, threats are increasing as well. Officials say conversations about the seriousness of threatening violence should start at home. The police department says the rise in reports of school threats should not deter people from coming forward with information. So if you see something or hear something, you should still come forward and say something. Dozens of people living in an apartment building in the Brewers Hill area were cleared down after a leak on their rooftop pool. Neighbors tell WJZ they were scared and confused after the entire building was evacuated around 8 yesterday morning. Baltimore City Fire says that the leak impacted more than 60 units. But some good news here, just before Friday at 3 p.m., residents were able to return to their homes. WJZ received a statement from Axel Brewers Hill, who says that they are actively working on comprehensive repair plans. And the companies behind the Dolly cargo ship may have been hit with another lawsuit. The families of six construction workers killed with the ship that hit the key bridge back in March are now seeking more than $100 million in damages from the owner, Grace Ocean Private Limited, and the manager, Synergy Marine Private Limited. Both companies have sought to limit their legal financial liability to $44 million. This latest suit comes just days after the Justice Department announced that it's also suing both companies. And the survivor of this tragedy announced plans to do the same. And that's your CBS News Baltimore update. I'm Yana Massey.